We start with a glass ball like this one. These are normally used. They are filled with water and then here in the bottom cap there are some holes where you can put some flowers or any kind of decoration in it. And then when this is filled with water it gives a nice uh, magnifying effect of whatever what is inside. But we don't need that. And we actually have to remove this entire bump here because that's in the way. We, you will see later why that is. So I took a sharp knife and uh, carved this away so to make it as flat as possible. Okay. Next step is to fill it with water. I take normal tap water here. Uh, maybe it's good to probably use distilled water because tap water sometimes has uh, gases solved inside like carbon dioxide or uh, oxygen or so and that makes bubbles that will accumulate on the top of the glass after time and you have to remove these bubbles from time to time and probably with distilled water you don't have that problem but um, all these bubbles will be gone sooner or later so normal water will probably do the trick then I add some uh, dishwasher only a few drops I think, I'm not sure if it really works, but I think it makes the silver particles um, fall down from, from the edge here, uh, from, the, uh, from the rounding here. So it, the silver particles will accumulate in the bottom and not on the glass. So I hope that works. Next one is blue paint. Uh, this one is uh, t-shirt paint, but you can take everything that is uh, soluble in water. So oil paint also wouldn't work, but any water-based paint. So a little bit. I want it slightly blue. I would prefer to have a, a light blue for this, but I, I don't have that in the moment. Okay, so that's enough. That's already nice and blue. And the next ingredient is silver paint. I have this in this photo container here, film container, so it's uh, silver paint. It's a uh, water-based paint for uh, yes, for paintings and stuff. So I give a little bit of that inside. Just check if it's enough. You see we get a little bit of foam here because of the soap and I think yeah that's already enough. Okay, let's close that again. And now comes the big trick to remove all the air when the lid is closed. Removing the bubbles is relatively easy if you have a large bucket with water where you can dive this in so and then under water you lift the cap and all the bubbles go out and will be replaced by water. So let's see. 
there's still a little bit. Okay. So, completely free of air bubbles. Yeah, there are a few, but they will be more after a time and then I will repeat that entire process. Uh, I just realized I forgot the most important part, the magnetic steerer here, or the steerer magnet. But that's not a problem. We just repeat that. So we are on the water. Open that, put that pill in and close the lid, preferably without any bubbles. Okay. Okay. Now it's done. And now a little safety advice. This glass uh, <coughs> spheres here can be quite dangerous, as you can see, and they are filled with clear water. They are like a, a magnifying glass, pretty strong one. And if you place them somewhere uh, where the sun shines, or where the sun shines in, they can actually melt stuff. You can see that here. That happens. Happened here on this uh, cover. Sun shined in and it melted the plastic. And depending on where the sun is and where, where the, the, the bulb here is, the, the ball, um, it can also burn everything around it. And if you have a nice little carpet there or whatever, something or a little bit of paper or so, and your apartment is on fire. So don't place these things near the window or everywhere in your apartment where the sun is shining directly on it because of, well, you don't want any melted or burned stuff around it. I just noticed that one of these spheres here it was actually made in Germany and not in China. Okay, interesting. Maybe we can find the company online and order more for them if they are still manufactured. And the last step is to place the entire globe here on a magnetic steerer. These tiny little units here can be bought for $15 on AliExpress and they are pretty good. The problem is, or the only problem is, they are made of relatively thin plastic. And even if the advertisement says this is glass, it's not, it's also plastic. And it turned out that it's a good idea to make this uh, surface here the, from the cap a little bit concave, a little bit bowed in like that. I don't know if you can see that here. Uh, if you fill in a little bit too much water it bows out, so that will also work. But when uh, the center here touches this plate, all the sound from the steerer inside will be transmitted through this rubber cap onto that and that re it reacts like a resonance chamber and it gets pretty loud and well you only have to let it run for a couple of seconds but when it's bowed in let's see it's almost noiseless so I'm pretty su surprised by that because the last one I made, it was the opposite uh, way around and it was uh, pretty loud and rattling when it's moving here. But this one actually now 
works pretty well. You can also see on the top we have a little bit of foam here, so that's not air bubbles as you get uh, normally, so because of the dishwasher it gets white foam. But first of all, if this is swirling here, it creates a, a vortex that uh, pushes this foam together and down. Well, it will come up when you stop it. But I think just from the look of it, it looks a little bit like uh, Antarctica or no, Arctica is on, in the north. Okay, so well, it's perfectly round. That's probably not the best way. But as I said, uh, let it sit for a couple of days until all the bubbles have accumulated here. Then turn it over into the bucket, uh, release the bubbles and use fur is a perfect copy of Earth. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.